I know that it looks like we're just hockey players when you guys come to these games, but we're not. Um, I'm actually a teacher, so I teach at the Hill Academy. I teach grade 12 English, grade 12 literature, grade 9 drama. So I'm kind of all our, yeah, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, so I'm basically working as a teacher um, on my nights off where I'm not practicing. I do get uh, development for Tokyo, so if I'm not with the team specifically, then I have my three hours of development as well. So I'm pretty much on the go all the time, and I try and keep up with my parent emails at the same time for the students that I have, so it's fun. How do you get to the games on time? How do I get to the games on time? <laughs> well, we're lucky. We only play Saturday and Sunday. So for me, if I work from Monday to Friday, then I have a really good sleep on Friday night, wake up Saturday morning, and I get myself to that game, no matter what. <laughs> um, for me, uh, my schedule is a little different than a lot of people. Um, so since I don't live here, I live with my cousin, um, and she just had a little girl. So during the day, I'm like a nanny, babysitter, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I come to practice and then I go to work after practice. So I work uh, downtown as a security. So I spend all day with a two-year-old who drives me insane. <laughs> and then I come to hockey and then I go to work after and I get home at like four or five in the morning and then I wake up and do it all over again. So my schedule is a little bit different. So I try and sleep during the day, which my little cousin doesn't let me do that. but. Yeah. yeah, so like basically we're all working full-time jobs, trying to eat healthy, work out, stay consistent while going to practice, and games, and traveling, and it's not, uh, it's not all easy and fun and great, it's a lot of work, but we love the game and that's kind of why we do it. Um, for me, it's been big in my family, my dad played hockey, and then I have one older brother and I actually live right beside my cousins. So we had a rink in our backyard because we didn't have a fence in the middle. And I didn't really have a choice to be a goalie or not because people were shooting pucks at me. So I figured I'd put a helmet on at least. Um, but pretty much since then, I fell in love with the game and all the opportunities it's given me. It's been pretty big in my life. Yes. I think everybody's different. I mean, for me, I like to have my coffee and then <laughs> Definitely I have to have coffee on the way and then I honestly like I have a little energy drink and I put my skates on before my shin pads no matter what. Um, Jenna's weird. Jenna's really weird. Yeah. She has a whole unique thing going on. So I obviously listen to my music and it's not like upbeat music, it's more calm because I'm a really like energetic person to begin with, so I like to calm myself down. Um, I have to put my left stuff on before my my right and stuff, so like my right skate, my left skate has to go on before my right skate, my left elbow pads go on. So I put my skates on, and then I put my shoulder pads on, and I put my elbow pads on, and my jersey, then I put my shin pads on, and then I put my pants on. My pants are always last. That's weird. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you just sit in the locker room with no pants on. <laughs> like I play hockey because I love the sport, and I think you just need to have fun when you're out there and enjoy every moment and every opportunity that you get to step on the ice. Yeah, kind of tailing off that. Um, no matter what's going on with your life, like school's not going great, fight with your friends, just know that you always have hockey. You have that hour every day or a couple times a week to just fall into it and not think about anything else and just enjoy the sport you love with all your friends. And I think that's super important. Um, for me, since you guys all went with the hockey room, I'm going to say a piece of advice for you guys is your parents. You know, always trust your parents, always say thank you to your parents, because I'm a, one of a few people who didn't, you know, grow up with my parents and had to move away. So make sure you always say thank you to your parents, because they do a lot. They wake up at 6 a.m., drive you, and then go to work, and then give you money for popcorn at the game. So make sure you always say thank you to your parents, because they do a lot. Uh, it is true. It is true. <laughs> and they are very nice. And they are very nice. They pay for all your equipment you and they right never now? complain. They're sitting here, this is great. This okay. is all thanks to your parents, right? Let's give them a round. Woo! Um, for me, honestly, I just say like enjoy, like enjoy every moment. Like here, you're here today. You probably half of you guys probably never met, and now you have like 20 new friends. That's awesome. That's what hockey's done for me. 
everywhere I go, I meet new people, and I get to build these relationships, and uh, I think that's a, that's a big part of it. So just enjoy it. Um, this is going to be the teacher side of me, and <laughs> you guys are going to roll your eyes, and your parents can be like, yeah, keep talking. Um, the biggest thing for me would be just manage your time properly and make sure you guys are keeping your grades up. Um, like we said, honestly, guys, like our route is the college route. In order to get into school, you have to have good grades. And it doesn't matter if you commit at a young age, like we have girls now committing in grade 9 and 10, whatever it is. You can't get into those schools and play hockey there unless your grades are good. So please make sure that you guys are focusing on school as you get the hockey stuff going too. Thanks, Miss Richards. <laughs> <laughs>